3-3. Welcome back guys to the Red Revolution, me Calvin, I hope you're all doing well. Now here are my post-match thoughts, my post-match reaction uh, to uh, this evening's, uh, well tonight's uh, game against Arsenal which finished 3-3. Uh, uh, only going to keep it short like I did in my last post-match reaction. Uh, but goals coming from uh, Coutinho, Salah and Firmino. And uh, for Arsenal, Xhaka, Sanchez and Ozil. So we're going to start off with the first goal of the game, which was scored by us, Coutinho. Um, Salah, uh, fantastic down the wing. Uh, he's, he's on absolute fire at the minute, scoring goals. And as I said, he did score in tonight's game, the Liverpool's second goal. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but Coutinho, he was like one-on-one. Uh, have a little battle with, um, was it Koscielny? And uh, it kind of, Koscielny backed up a bit and um, Salah kind of lobbed the ball um, up in the air towards uh, where Petr Cech is and Coutinho was there and headed it in to make it 1-0 to Liverpool. Now Salah was involved in the next goal for Liverpool which made it 2-0. He scored it. Now, this is a good goal to talk about from Salah. We all know what it's like. He's magical, just like Coutinho when he has the ball to his feet. It was that he passed it. I can't remember who he passed it to, but that player passed it back to Salah. Salah was continuing his run forward as he passed the ball to one of his teammates. And whoever it was, I can't remember who it was, passed it back to Salah. He was like an, on Arsenal's side of the pitch. And he was having a good run. He was up, the only Liverpool player up front on his own, going towards goal. And there must have been about five... Arsenal players around him and I'll tell you something that did not bother him one bit he just hit it I think it was with his left foot I don't know uh, he just kind of like a, a kind of a low shot just curled it past Petr Cech beautiful goal um, you, you know you can't stop him it's like watching Messi you know you have about five or six defenders around him you can't stop him you can't stop him you have so many opposition players that, against one opposition player and you can't stop someone like Salah he is fantastic he's magical to watch he's absolutely magical to watch I can't remember what, how many goals he scored this season but I tell you it was a hell of a lot I tell you <laughs> uh, but that made it 2-0 right down to uh, Alexis Sanchez's goal uh, which brought them a goal back into the game to make it 2-1 to Liverpool uh, that was scored I think it was about a minute after I think it was a minute after Salah scored I think it's in the 53rd minute and it was a good goal um, defensive wise it's no surprise really is it we should have played better they, they got it out wide uh, to the right hand side of the pitch on, on the right wing uh, on, you know and uh, they crossed in and who else was there Sanchez just to head it in just easy like that um, I'm not surprised about our defence it's atrocious it's shocking it really is now, I actually want to uh, praise this goal from Arsenal. I, I, not in a in a way because it brought them back into the game. It was two two, but I just want to say this was a fantastic goal. This has got to be goal of the month or probably one of the goals of the season. Uh, this is from uh, Xhaka, um, how you have pronounced his name, uh, but he's he plays centre defensive mid for Arsenal, and I tell you something, that goal from him just outside the box. It was a long. Uh, shot from goal and he just he just went in like a rocket so that that I got I got to admit as a football fan a true football fan that was a fantastic goal that has got to be goal that the goal of the month for goal of the season I tell you we've seen many spectacular goals this so far this season in the Premier League but so I just want to remind you all as well all three of Arsenal's goals were scored six minutes after Salah scored to make it 2-0 to Liverpool so with you know, six minutes after Salah scored, Arsenal were winning 3-2. So on to the last goal for Arsenal now, their final goal of the game. And that was scored by uh, Mesut Ozil. Ozil just kept running a a until he got into our uh, box. And it was like a, a back pass from Lacazette, a quick back pass to back to Ozil. He was just one-on-one -on -one with Mignolet and got it in to make it 3-2 to Arsenal. But we did not give up without a fight. We did not give up. We may have fucked it up, the lead, but we came straight back into it to make it 3-3. Now this goal makes me laugh. This is the last goal of the game and it finished 3-3. Arsenal 3, Liverpool 3. 
Bobby Firmino with the goal. The reason it makes me laugh is I thought it was going to go wide. If you watched it, I thought it was going to go wide. Firmino had a shot. Uh, he was in the box. Hit, uh, well, check saved it. And it, and it just went up in the air. And it looked like it was going to go wide That when I was watching it on TV uh, from the camera angle. Uh, but it, it just creeped in. And I couldn't believe it. And it, it was 3-3. Uh, so um, I'm, I'm really happy. Um, we should have won that game. We should have won that game. We dominated the first half. It just changed in the second half, but we dominated. Um, Ox uh, got uh, and didn't get a, a good reception from the Arsenal fans. Um, but I would have loved it so much if he uh, got the winner. I was putting it on Twitter to get four three. I would have loved it so much if he got, got the winner. It'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, Hendo went off went off as well in the first half. I found out that I saw as well. Forgot to mention, um, Milner came on in the first, but was it you know when he went off? It was quite early, not too early, in the uh, first half. So I don't know how long he'll be out for. Also, I want to talk about another talking point is when I can't remember. If, I think we were still one nil up. Um, Mane, I think Salah and Mane were going through on goal, and. Uh, I think then he, hit, he had a shot Salah, I think it was that. And then Mane could have just, just gently kicked it in. But he just did something stupid. And I'm trying to do a spectacular goal. Like a like a volley or something. Or a, try an overhead kick or something like that. I don't know. But he was trying to do a spectacular goal. And I just thought that was absolutely stupid from him. There's no need for that, trying to show off like that. Just get it in the net. You know what I mean? I, he, he did the spectacular well, he took it in a spectacular way, but he went over the bar. He, he should have just took the shot as a normal kick, but I don't know. But he wasted his chance there. Um, but honestly, my overall thoughts on it, we, we, we messed it up. We did. Um, our defence is still shit. Arsenal got the passion in the second half. I don't know what happened in the, uh, at the second half. You know, motivational speech, I don't know, from Arsene Wenger. Who knows? Um, but we messed it up. At least we got an equaliser at the end. At least we got the point. I knew it was going to be tough. I predicted 1-0 Liverpool. I thought it was going to be tough. I didn't think it was going to be a walkover, which a lot of Liverpool fans did, which I was shocked about. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to The Red Revolution. I've been your host, Calvin, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.